So hi dear Scorpio, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Scorpio Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing the rules can be reversed anytime. Third thing this is a reading from today till the next 72 hours. It can go up to 4 to 5 days. So let's start. Scorpio, your partner's current feelings for you right now are? Let's see. We have. Scorpio, we have the Knight of Wands, a Magician and the Nine of Wands. The background story is the Sun, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Wands. Okay, you've got a lot of clarity about the ending. There was a separation or breakup, there was an ending and you got a lot of clarity that this is the end of this situation or of this connection and you want to start from scratch or you should start from scratch. The other person also got the same clarity. In some cases, there's a new person who is very much interested in you after this ending or breakup. Somebody was like waiting for this ending or breakup for, uh, like uh, in your life so that they can connect with you. What? <laughs> Opportunist. Anyway, so in some cases, there's uh, this sense that everything is crystal clear. Nothing is left confused and this is done and we can have a brand new beginning in our individual lives. And this is the background story. When it comes to the feeling, this person feels like they should come towards you, but they're manifesting that you should not give up on the situation. Somebody is manifesting here that you should not give up on the situation. Or they are manifesting that there should be at least one chance given to this situation at least once more. So somebody definitely feels a certain pull towards you, a heavy attraction towards you. So somebody is still very, very passionate. Uh, let me tell, tell you one thing, this person is kind of a player person, not very stable minded, not very organized in their life, not very stable financially also, I think. So this person feels like they should definitely take some kind of action towards you, but they are manifesting that uh, there should be at least a last chance given to this situation. They cannot just let it go. So they are manifesting something from your side. They feel like you should fight for this connection, do not give up on this situation, even if it is painful and hurtful. A last chance. That is what they feel. They feel like this. This is your card only, Scorpio. Somebody is manifesting transformation in, uh, in this situation. It is your Sagittarius energy. Let's see what do you feel. Uh, no. Let's see what uh, intention they have. What this person wants from you from the situation right now. Scorpio, let's see. Let's see, sweetie. We have... The Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. So, this person wants to have a brand new beginning with you. So, first of all, this person wants to apologize to you or they want to open their heart to you. So, you, it could be you, it could be them. Somebody definitely wants to come towards you. In some, some cases, again, I'm picking a new energy that's waiting for you to be free from the past energy so that they can come towards you. <laughs> what? So, somebody definitely wants to have a brand new beginning. And from this brand new beginning, this person is having this energy of whether... This situation has the potential to become long-term partnership or not. So somebody is going back and forth about it. Like, yeah, uh, yes, it has the potential to become something, but might be not, might be yes, maybe, yeah, that kind of energy. So definitely somebody wants to start a connection with you, but they're not sure what to do with that connection. What next? So I think this person needs time to analyze what next, okay, what should be. Or what could be next in the situation between you and them. Mm -hmm. Somebody is going back and forth about it. A lot of back and forth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what this person is going to do about it. What action is this person going to take towards Scorpio in the next 72 hours or next 4 to 5 days? Let's see, sweetie, what is coming. The tower, the strength, the sun card. A lot of clarity, a lot of truth. Yes, Scorpio. Sorry. My inner actor is coming out. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, whenever I do this heart chakra meditation, affirmations, I get mad. I mean, not mad, mad. I, get, I become crazy like a kid. Like this. Yeah. Okay. Serious. So, Scorpio, you can expect somebody who's not talking to you. There's no communication going on between you guys at all. You can expect somebody suddenly, somebody suddenly texting you, calling you or suddenly shedding some kind of light on some kind of situation that they were in. Somebody suddenly is going to start talking to you, start communicating with you or at least they will 
test the waters if you are still interested in them or or is this completely over so you can expect hi hello or uh, you know communication kind of energy you you should not expect any kind of apology or commitment or marriage and blah 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 nope this is somebody is holding back from a very long time and they feel like this is the time that they should uh, talk to you or they should uh, start talking to you because they cannot hold it any longer so somebody will try to have a reconciliation reconciliation is uh, not always like full on reconciliation like commitment or marriage or relationship or something like this sometimes the reconciliation is just like a friendship kind of energy also right so you can expect communication leo and leo you could be dealing with a leo or there could there is leo in your chart somewhere a lot of time hmm. so let's see <clears throat> so do not go with the signs i keep on saying uh, this again and again just go with the energies let's see what is the guidance for you justice the hierophant the eight of cups so scorpio you know you know what is the justice for you you know what is the uh, uh, the truth of your life okay and you know you are not ready for anything less than commitment or marriage if there is somebody who is in and out of your life on and off in your life you have to reevaluate the situation whether this person is the right person for you whether this person is you know ever going to give you the commitment or marriage or happiness that you really deserve if not if the answer is big no i can see the no on my screen i don't know why so you just walk away this is not your uh, not your person this is not your energy this is not uh, what you are what you deserve you do not deserve anything less than commitment or marriage or long term happiness okay sweetheart do not lower down your standards because the other person is not matching up with your standards it's fine they are not for you your standards are high your vibrations are high so sometimes it's it's very very painful for us to understand that something or someone is not good for us right but this is the right th thing to do that is what we call as healing this is the right way to heal okay that is why 99 people like 90% people are in a wrong relationship in a wrong situation and trauma bonds and toxic relationship and blah 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 because they don't know how to walk away where to put the full stop you know where to st uh, state the boundaries learn it and just uh, you know apply it in your life so Thank you so much for tuning in Scorpio. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.